Hello. This week, you'll be having a session on abstracting from either me, Sheila Weber, or from Andrew Madden, and you'll be having a session from Alistair Allen on searching. First of all, looking at the abstracting, on the Mole 2 page for week two, you'll find that there's the information about what you need to do for the abstracting session, as I highlighted last week, and that includes the link to the article that you need to read before the session, and you need to bring a copy of the article along with you. Also on this page, uh, there's the same information on a handout that you could print out if you want. And already there is the PowerPoint that Andrew or I will be going through quickly during the session. Um, there is also a link to another article by Sandra Edeles uh, on the same subject, but you don't have to read that. You only read that if you're interested in it. So now I'm just going to insert uh, a, a short conversation with Andrew Madden, where he says a little bit more about abstracting. Would you like to say a few words about the uh, the session next week? Uh, yes, thank you, Sheila. Um, we're going to be talking about abstracts, about different kinds of abstracting, and about why you should produce abstracts. And it's that last one that's the most important. It's, uh, th there are various programs nowadays that are uh, popularising the idea of entrepreneurialism, uh, Dragon's Den and such like. And an abstract is the academic's equivalent of an elevator speech. It's just a few words in which you've got to persuade a busy reader why they should read more of your work uh, and why they should take it to heart and why they should cite it. So that's basically the significance of an abstract. Thank, Thank you. you. So, that's the abstracting part of the session. Additionally, as I've said, you'll all be having a session on searching with Alistair Allen, and those will all be in the lab in Regent Court. You don't have to do any special preparation for this, but I have on the website, on Mole 2, I have embedded this PowerPoint from Karen Blakeman. Karen's an expert in information. She's an information consultant, and she produces some really useful presentations, including this one, which says, but it's all free on Google. And you can have a look through there and, and find a lot of useful information about what you need to bear in mind when you're searching on Google. So you don't have to do that preparation, but I've just embedded that in case people are interested. Now I'll hand over to Alistair for a few words about the session. So, uh, Alistair, would you like to say a few words about um, what's going to be going on uh, this week with you? OK, I'm Alistair Allen. I'm teaching the Information Resources part of Information 6350. And for the next lecture, we're going to be looking at the best way to use search engines to find information. And this will be quite good preparation for your test essay.